for this week's FPF News Recap, where I take a look back at last week's news and look forward to next week's new releases. Because the team are off to res this weekend, unfortunately I'm stuck using my phone camera, because they have the main camera. But that doesn't mean we can't still do the news recap. So, for next week's new releases, only one title of note, Inversion. Following rumours earlier this year that Sony were interested in acquiring a cloud-based service to work alongside the PlayStation 3, and the lack of showing of any such news at E3, they have now announced that they have entered a definitive contract to acquire Gakai Inc. for $380 million. While the press release didn't specifically state that this was the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4, it is a very positive step forward in cloud-based gaming. Every special edition going these days comes with a bobblehead of the main character in some form or another, so Hitman Absolution's strictly limited deluxe professional edition of Hitman Absolution from Square Enix is no exception containing a 10-inch vinyl bobblehead of the barcode-clad assassin, Agent 47 himself, who is the grumpiest-looking bobblehead ever. It also comes with a hardcover art book for the game, a making of DVD, and the Agency Gun Pack DLC. The pack will be available on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC this November the 20th when the game launches. Of course, if you pre-order that version of the game, as with any other version of the game, you'll get instant access to the Hitman Sniper Challenge to unlock extra bonuses within the main game with a score-based time trial. Capcom's upcoming zombie shooter, Resident Evil 6, might have a fourth campaign featuring fan favourite Ada Wong, according to files found within the demo this week. We already know there are going to be six campaigns in Resident Evil 6, starring Leon S. Kennedy, Chris Redfield, and newcomer Jake Muller, and all will have a unique gameplay style. But members of both NeoGAF and GameFAQs have said that they've found files within the game that indicate Ada Wong's role within the story. Capcom have not yet stated whether this is a fully fledged fourth campaign, but one of their spokesmen did say to Eurogamer that they confirmed Ada Wong would be in the game at... E3. And that's all for this week's folks. I will see you next week for more news and new releases. Bye guys.